Tigers, this is Marcy. So I hope you're ready for today's total body workout because we're going to be doing a new push-up exercise that's going to get our entire body strong. So not only are push-ups, you know, good for our pectorals, which is our chest and our biceps and arms, but we're going to be getting our core tight and also our legs by doing a little bit of something. So this is the workout for today. All right, so as you can see, I snuck in some box jumps. This is gonna get our cardio in. Box jumps are really, really effective, not only for cardio, but just strengthen our legs as well. We're gonna be doing some butterfly sit-ups that really gets deep into that core to get us strong, okay? And then those cool push-ups that I'm about to show you. Let's go. So as you can see, we're doing a countdown workout. So that means we're doing 10 reps of each of the three exercises. We're going to nine reps of each of the three exercises, and we're going all the way down to one, and we're doing this as fast as we can it's a time challenge so push hard keep proper form and let's get to one as fast as we can These are kind of fun. Um, you need to make sure, again, that you warm up extremely well because you're going to be using your back with this workout um, exercise. So you might want to uh, go look at the um, warm up again, hang tight with Marcy, because we do this in our warm up where we lay down and then we extend the leg up and over. That's going to stretch our back and lengthen the front of our body as well. So we're lifting a leg up and we're putting it to the other side. Okay, so that's something that you might want to do to start because you will fill it in your back. So we're doing the push up. Okay, we're going to do a get up in the plank position. This is going to be the intermediate advanced version. Your leg is going to go out in front. You're going to do a push up. You're going to then not touch this leg on the ground again. You're going to flip it all the way up and over to a scorpion and do a push up. And then put that foot back down. So the other side. So leg over, which does touch the ground, do a push up. Bring the leg all the way back up and over and do a push up. Okay, so it's kind of fun actually, just kind of moving that leg back and forth. So that's gonna be the intermediate advanced version. Beginners, what I want you to do, you're gonna remain on your hands and knees. So your push up is gonna be lifting your body up to put this leg out in front. Okay, do a small push up. Then try and make it one continuous motion if you can by going up and over, okay? Looks a little funky and try and do a push up, okay? So one more time. So leg is gonna be up. I'm gonna do a small push up. I'm gonna lift my body up, try and put it over, put that knee back down, do a push up. That's still too challenging. Just work on the front part of the push up first. So you're gonna go over, do a push up, down, push up, over, 
push up, put your knees down, do a push up. So that's gonna be the scorpion push up. Try it, don't rush through it because you need to have proper form, but also try and keep a good pace so that you can complete this workout as fast as you can. All right, hang tighter, so box jumps. We're going to be perfecting our technique a little bit on the box jumps, okay? So usually we start on the floor, on the ground, and we just hop up, stand up, and hop down. Well, today we're gonna to be doing the opposite. So you might not be able to see my head, but you will be able to see my my uh, body what I want you to do is to stand on top of the chair and the motion of this box jump you're going to be jumping down very lightly okay and try and jump with your feet together if you can and then you're going to be jumping back up but what it's going to be is going to be a quick explosive jump where you're resting on the chair versus on the floor so I'm going to jump up okay so I'm going to start my feet can be slightly apart up here, but when I jump down, try and jump with your feet um, together. So I'm gonna jump down quick and jump back up. Okay, so I jumped down up very quick. I can use my hands to help me up. So I'll do a couple more so you can see. So this is gonna be for the advanced intermediates. I want you to try it too. Okay, so you're gonna be down up, down up. Okay. So as you can see, I'm down very lightly trying and jumping back up in the chair, okay? Keep your core tight, very important, okay? If you start feeling any pressure in your lower back or your legs, then you possibly aren't uh, doing it correctly or you have a weak core. So if you're jumping down and jumping back up and you're like, man, I feel it on my lower back, I want you to stop. You're gonna do the beginner variation for this um, exercise, which is ultimately going to be doing step ups. So for the intermediates, what I want you to try is, I want you to try um, starting on the top of your chair and I want you to just practice landing lightly at first and just stand back up. Okay, so this is intermediate. Landing lightly, step up to get used to it. Okay, then you can alternate maybe, again, we're doing 10, 9, 8, 7. If you want to do the 10 reps, do it that way. When you come back around to do your nine reps, if you want to do it the other way, that's completely fine. Okay, so the other way would be doing it this way. Starting with your feet together, hopping up on the chair, and then stepping down. Okay, then once you get down to reps five, reps four, reps three, try and do the advanced version where you're starting on the chair and you're jumping down and up really quick. Okay, so for beginners, too much I know. What I want you to first try and do is try and find a step that's not as high as this particularly. I'm just using my chair because that's all I have. If you have maybe steps or something that's just not as tall, try that. I want you to try the same techniques first. So if you feel that you can jump up on that step and jump back down, try the advanced version with the lower step. Hold on to the railings if you need to or wherever you are, okay? If you cannot do that, I want you to just do regular step ups, okay? So alternate legs, you're gonna be stepping up, okay? But if you choose to do this variation of the step ups, I want you to try and get something a little bit higher than a step, because um, step ups are not as strenuous, especially if you aren't using weights. Still good exercise, still good cardio, but it'd be better if you can get something that's semi-high so you can use this leg and muscle to drive your body up, okay? So the important thing with the step up is, when you put your foot on the chair, same thing applies with all lunges and all squats. Don't put your knee over your toe. So you're going to try, you have to lean forward, yes, but still try and keep the knee not over the toe. And step up, and step back down, then you're gonna alternate. Okay, so that's gonna be your variation for the box jumps. All right, King Tigers, butterfly sit-ups. These sit-ups are a little bit challenging simply because we're sitting in the butterfly position. So you're gonna put your feet together and you're going to have your legs like a butterfly. So if you took gymnastics when you were young, like I did, we always used to hold our feet together and flat like we were butterflies. So that might be why they're called butterfly sit-ups. So put your feet together, okay? As you can see, I'm rolling down. I'm coming all the way back up, extending my body forward. And on the roll down, I'm rolling down, engaging my core and extending all the way up and I'm breathing a lot, keeping my feet together the entire time. All right, hang tighter, so that was our workout for today. Uh, I find it uh, fun. I like the scorpion push-ups a lot. It really challenges me, as well as I hope it challenges you to try new exercises and get toned, okay? So we're not doing the typical 
Irregular push-ups this time. We're flipping that leg forward and back and we're engaging our core. We're also strengthening our back by doing that. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you drink lots of water, cool down. Remember, active rest at all times. So if you're watching TV at home, you just got finished doing this workout, stretch. Stretch, drink water. You might even wanna kinda of jog in place, jog around. Cooling down is really important so that you will not be extremely sore the next day. So I can get ready for our next workout. Bye.